Oh, it's so good to come home and know that I don't have to go back to work for more than a week. I'm taking a week of annual leave, dear. I would appreciate more attention than that. But maybe I can take a few days off from work myself. We could go on a short trip, Jacob. We're not going on a short trip. I'm going on a long journey. What are you talking about? Honey, I take a week's annual leave not only for my job, but also from our marriage. Don't worry. You can do whatever you want with whoever you want while I'm gone. I won't hold it against you. Just like you won't hold it against me for what I do. I'm sorry, Jacob. When we first got married, I didn't realize how much marriage was like having a full-time job. I have found that a wife must be reliable, able to do her job as expected, and most importantly, keep her boss happy. Our home life has become like an organized day at the office. One day I thought about it. Workplaces provide annual leave to allow employees to take some time off from their duties. They are expected to return refreshed and ready to get back to work. I wondered why it couldn't be the same for marriage. Face it, our marriage has lately become a little stale, boring, and routine, especially in bed. I almost forgot what an orgasm is. I came to the conclusion that we both needed a break from each other to get our juices flowing again. Once you think about it, you'll realize I'm right. Then you will appreciate what I do. You'll be glad you'll see. You're completely crazy, Mia. I never agreed to this when we got married, let alone have it dropped on me without warning. I don't know why you think I'll agree to your weird plan, but I won't allow it. She grinned. Foolish man. I don't need your permission. Relax. I won't leave you. It's just that after being a loyal, hardworking partner in our marriage, I deserve some rest. You too. I didn't tell you earlier so you couldn't stop me. Tickets and hotel fees are non-refundable and you hate wasting money. Listen, I need to go buy some swimsuits for my trip. We are going to sunny Jamaica. We who the hell are we? My boyfriend and I? You have a boyfriend? Who the hell is he? You don't need to know you could do something stupid. Like tell his wife. Look, find yourself a pretty girl to play with while I'm gone. Just remember to get rid of it before I get back. I'm not leaving for good. I value our marriage and you. I'm taking a week off for both of us. In a week. We will both be glad to see each other and our marriage will be restored. You'll see. I see that you are delusional. That's what I see. I forbid you to go. This is my last word on this matter. Jacob, don't make this difficult. I was afraid you wouldn't like it. So I already transferred most of our money to an account in my name. Only your money will last a little more than a week. I was given a credit card in my name only so you couldn't leave me in Jamaica by canceling our joint cards while I'm shopping. Calm down and accept what's about to happen. The sooner you start to adapt to this idea, the more comfortable you will be with it. Heck, you'll probably want to do this again. Jacob, after I finish shopping, we will have a few hours before I leave. I'd like us both to get naked and have sex on a blissful trip for the ages. I don't want you to forget what it will be like when I return. I love you. She left. Jacob wasn't home when she returned, which didn't surprise her. Hey, you didn't want to try me goodbye. So you're out of luck. Soon I will be completely at the mercy of my lover. I just hope I can go to the beach while we're there. One week later. Hello, dear. I'm home. Where is he? I probably should have checked the garage to see if his car was there. She went and looked in the garage, but his car was not there. Looking around the living room and kitchen, she did not notice anything unusual. Soon she was already going upstairs. As she had feared most of his belongings were gone. Shit. He throws a tantrum. I hope he has registered to file for divorce. Once he finds out how much he stands to lose in the divorce, he'll be back on his knees. Sex with my boyfriend was good. But I missed some of the things I could only do with my husband's body. First, I'll make Jacob apologize. And then I'll lovingly forgive him, put him to bed, and fuck his brains out. After this, everything will return to normal. As Mia put away her things and got ready for bed, she was sure that Jacob would be back soon. The trip tired her and she fell asleep easily. When she woke up the next morning, she stretched in bed for a moment she forgot he wasn't there. Well, he'll be back soon. She went downstairs and quickly noticed that the coffee she liked to wake up to was not ready, as it had always been since she and Jacob got married. Without Jacob's help, 
She was almost late for work this morning. She began to get angry with her intractable husband on our way to work. She tried to call Jacob's cell phone and received a message that said no longer in service. Damn, he looks like he wants to fool around. Well, I can play nasty too. I'll make him pay for his stubbornness. Mia hung up and dialed his work number. Hello, Mr. Sherman's office. How can I help you? Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob's wife. Can I talk to my husband? I'm so sorry. Mrs. Sherman. He is not here. Okay. Can you tell me when he'll be back? Sorry, but we are not allowed to disclose such information. You've never had a problem telling me about this before. Since when did silence become a policy? The secretary's attitude was evident in her response. Because Mr. Sherman told me to give this to you if you called bastard. The secretary hung up. Maybe Jacob has found a woman to sleep with and it takes him a little longer to make me jealous. By not telling him about my annual leave. I hoped that he wouldn't be able to find someone to get close to so quickly. I guess I was wrong. Perhaps he too has decided to accept this annual leave from marriage. Well, good for him. This makes us equal and should help him overcome his anger. Mia's consolation did not last long. She went to use her credit card at a restaurant, but was refused. The ATM would no longer dispense money to her. She went to the bank to find out that there were no more funds in her personal account. Mia was informed that she had a minimum balance in the accounts in her name. She asked how this money could have been taken without her permission. The Ministry of Internal Affairs reported that according to bank records, she herself gave her written permission. The clerk obtained her file and showed Mia signed documents giving her husband access to her new accounts, as well as a copy of the driver's license of a woman calling herself Mia Sherman. She wasn't like me, who showed her driver's license to prove it. Mia's protest fell on deaf ears. She was at Visa to contact the police and or take legal action if it was a fakie and a scam. This bastard. How could he do this to me? I'll kick his ass for this. She contacted the police and reported it stolen by fraud, identity theft, and her signature being forged. They took information from her and asked where she thought her husband and his accomplice might have gone. Mia gave them some advice about people to contact and places where he could live. Police and the FBI investigated, but over time police admitted they had no good leads me I couldn't afford to hire a lawyer or a private detective to look into it on her own, as her money was quickly running out. With no other options, Mia called all of Jacob's relatives and friends she knew just as the police had done. The answer was the same for everyone she contacted. I have no idea where he is. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Hell, I got fucked by my husband in exchange for having sex in Jamaica. There was no way I can live in this house and pay all the bills on my own. If he doesn't come back soon. She thought about selling the house, but couldn't because the house was in their names. She couldn't file for divorce because she was abandoned because he wasn't gone long enough. Mia was advised that she could go through the normal channels of divorce. But in the meantime, she would lose her home. The Ministry of Internal Affairs declared bankruptcy in order to start all over again. It was on moving day that me received the letter. Me. Obviously, you were convinced that I had no choice but to wait until you finished your affair. And welcome you back. I think you forgot what I did for a living. I was the defense lawyer for several counterfeiters. Over the years, I've encountered many talented counterfeiters who also had excellent counterfeiting skills. I remember one woman in particular who served her time. I remember partly because she was so great. I tracked her down and asked her to help me. At first she thought I was trying to lure her into a trap to prove that she was still committing crimes. Once I calmed her down, she told me her story about how difficult it is for an ex-con to make an honest living. She was destitute and intended to either return to crime or become a prostitute. I was surprised that she agreed to help me if I met her one condition. I had to take her with me when I left and create a new identity. It only took me one night in bed with her to realize how great this would be. She was able to create a driver's license with all your information and her photo. Then she pretended to be you at the bank and forged your signature. It coincided so closely that no one doubted it. No one we dealt with at the bank knew you personally. So it didn't matter that she didn't look like you. It looked like her fake ID. And that was all that mattered. 
My original plan was to reciprocate your annual week-long sabbatical with my own year-long sabbatical from our marriage after returning your money to you, but I couldn't understand how you could treat me like that the day you left. My generosity has dried up. Now, after spending some time with my girlfriend, I have decided against a sabbatical or divorce. So in line with your analogy that marriage is like a job. Mia, you're fired. Subscribe to our channel and go ahead and listen to the next story because this story is nothing compared to the next one.